Well, hello everyone and welcome to 2024. Always sounds kind of weird seeing a new date, seeing the dates on things when it changes. Uh, but Happy New Year to you all. Hope you all had a nice time over the holidays. Hopefully not uh, too many hangovers in there. Um, I'd be lying if, we, if I said that me and Christina didn't have a couple. But generally it was a pretty chill time over the holidays. Just hanging about with friends and family. Um, it was quite nice, quite a chilled one. And uh, I also had a good time using the uh, little film camera that I done the video on just before Christmas or after just before Christmas. Um, had a fun time using that little camera and there will be a video coming on that camera with a bit more detail um, coming soon. But anyway, I wanted to create another video similar to what I done last year and I believe I done it the year before as well. Just looking back at the previous year, the photos I took and hopefully I'll sort of be able to learn something from it see um, sort of what direction I took with my photography that year and um, just if I improved or what I was sort of leaning towards when it came to my photography and what was appealing to me and stuff. I think it's something that everybody should do um, because often like particularly this year I didn't think it was a particularly great year for my photography just a bit more limited um, just maybe not as many trips as I would have liked probably didn't take as many photos as, as I would have liked and I thought I was gonna have very few photos that I really like from this year but there is a few in there that I that I do really like and um, yeah it's, I think it's just a good thing for photographers to do. So obviously before doing this video I took a flick through my photos to see just how many of them there was and which ones would be my favourites um, from the year and um, these aren't going to be in chronological order well I can't really be bothered trying to figure out what the exact order was I took them throughout the year so I'd imagine it's pretty unlikely that they're actually going to be in chronological order but I don't think that really matters. The first one however is definitely the first really good photo I think I took of 2023 because it snowed in January pretty early on in January as far as I can remember and I took this photo and if you remember that video you'll remember I actually took that same photo or a photo of that same scene on three different cameras I found it really tough and I don't really know if I came to a decision as to which one I really think is my favourite. I'm still not really sure but I'm gonna go with this one and um, there's just something about the framing of it I like um, and I like the light as well. Um, but yeah that scene was crazy, probably one of the craziest scenes I've seen as I said in that video and may see for quite a while because it was a crazy sunrise and um, snow and everything. Not something you come across all the time, but I just really like this photo. Um, something I would really like to get uh, a print of at some point. And I'm currently in the process of getting the office sort of fixed up. Um, uh, we moved into a new house, blah, blah, blah. Office needs fixed up. Sort of in the process of that. So maybe, maybe I'll get a print and get that on the wall at some point. But that would be my first favorite, my first favorite photo of the year and happened to be um, very early on in the year. And the next photo on the list is not a particularly excellent photo, but it's this one. And you might think that's maybe not one of my greatest photos I took this year, but I do like it and there is a reason why I'm picking it. Me and Christina just took a little stroll to the beach that day to take some photos and stuff, as we do on many different occasions, take strolls to places, go on little road trips, take photos. And on this day, we took a little trip to the beach. I was trying out the TT Artisan 23mm lens, I believe it was, um, manual focus lens. And we were just kind of messing around, snapping photos, and I took this photo of Christina. It's not the craziest scene ever, and it's definitely not the greatest photo ever, but I quite like it, and it kind of made me realize, looking back on my photos, that this year for me, when it comes to my photography, was more about realizing that I need to capture the memories and um, things that I'll look back on in years to come and be glad that I took 
photos of um so more photos of like me and christina behind the cameras just traveling even friends and family and stuff like that and this one was probably one of the earliest ones in the year where i sort of tried to do that um capturing memories photos of us and things that i can look back on so that's why i included this one in the list and um again that's why i got the little camera before christmas as well um something i'm really trying to do more of uh, moving forward capture memories of friends and family and stuff like that and the next one that i've decided to add to the list of my favorite photos from 2023 is actually another black and white photo um, it just happened to be the film i had in the nikon fe the time i took this photo and it didn't turn out exactly as i would have liked um, i probably ideally would have liked it in color as well but it's more that this is the type of photos I want to take more of going forward. Um, it's a style I really like. So this photo, um, just a country road with the mountains in the background. It just is kind of what Ireland is to me. Um, it just reminds me of home and it's the kind of scenes that I like to take photos of. Little crossroads, stop sign, electric posts, mountains. It, it just has a countryside feeling to it. Um, I took a few variations of it just to try and get the framing right. I'm not sure I nailed any of them, but I do kind of like all of them at the same time. Um, but these are the type of photos that when we go on road trips around Ireland and stuff, I want to take more of. Um, I don't know why it appeals to me as much, but when I see other photographers taking photos like this as well, um, they appeal to me and I, I like those type of photos. I don't know if it just is the countryside feeling um, that they give off, but. I really like this photo. I tried to sort of play around with the frame and of it. it was a little bit tricky. And um, there's a few things I was trying to sort of block out at the same time. Um, but I like this photo and it's something I want to try and take more of going forward, which is why I've added it to the list. The next photo on the list is a photo of a horse. Um, I do really like this photo, although the barbed wire fence kind of annoys me a little bit, a little bit distracting. But the conditions were pretty delightful and the lighting is just absolutely spot on. I think the colors and stuff. This is actually Christina's photo of the year as well. This is the one she picked and I already had it in the list just because it's something different. And I just really like how it turned out. Although I think it would be nice if that um, barbed wire fence had been like a nice wooden fence or something. But um, yeah, why do you like it? <laughs> Christina's here also. Look how cute he is. I couldn't actually believe how close we were able to get True. to him to take this photo. Um, there was actually a couple of horses there at the time, but uh, yeah, it just it, it turned out to be a really nice evening with the colors in the sky as well. Um, and I think we're kind of like wanting to work our way through the animals of the Irish countryside. Uh, we have the Highland cow now on our wall. Definitely Scottish. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but. Um, we come across horses all the time and we're like, oh, I would love to get a photo of I one know. of them. Next is a donkey. I would like to get one of a donkey as well. I've actually never took photos of horses before, I don't think. So yeah, that's where we tried to really get some nice ones of these horses when they were just standing right in front of us. But um, yeah, something a little bit different for my type of photography, but it turned out really nicely and just something a little bit different to throw in there. We got a few variations as well, which I suppose I'll share saying is... <laughs> It's something a little bit different but the landscape one would be my uh, favorite i think i think <laughs> now like i said at the start these are not in chronological order but if they were we'd be rolling in the summertime with these next this next photo with there's kind of a group of them and it's from the car shows in the summer love the tandem these taking photos first time i've properly took photos of a lot of cars with kind of all my cameras and uh wasn't quite sure which one of these I'd pick as sort of the favorite photo of the car shows. There is a few. The two that I personally like the best are the photo with the red BMW and the red chairs behind it. I said this in that particular car video. This to me just um, instantly gives me car show vibes, this photo. Um, I really liked it at the time. I was trying to figure out how to get a nice photo. I seen the chair sitting there. Took me a little while walking around the car. Um, to sort of get this scene and frame it up, take the shot. And this was took on the X-T3, I believe. And I just really like the colors in this and just the framing and just the feeling that this photo gives me um, just being at car shows and chilled car shows, just chilling. 
um checking out the cars and that's just what i get from this photo i hope you do as well if you're a bit of a car enthusiast um the other one that i liked was the film photo of the um old american pickup truck i love the uh, film burn in this one like i said again in the video at the time it just kind of turned out so nicely and was just cool that the first photo i took of an american hot rod had the flames on it which kind of goes hand in hand um the other photo i liked from the car shows was the one of the old jaguar um but i think those two as as photos are probably a little bit better and i would probably lean towards the um bmw with the red chair just because of the color contrast and the framing and stuff um yeah cool photo and i definitely will try and get to more car shows this year to take more photos like that because it was fun um definitely another one i would like to get as a print maybe even a few of those to be fair i suppose we kind of are going in somewhat of a chronological order here just because i kind of used uh, the instagram to go through and pick the photos and just the way i've listed them was kind of as i was going through so assuming i sort of shared these relatively on time throughout the year um you might be too far away from chronological order actually the next one i've decided to go for again something different not not a scene i come across every day and i'm sure a lot of you guys don't either and it's this photo of a tractor on the beach which i took with cine still 400d um, it was my first time using that film since that video i found out there um is a whole uh, issue there around cine still i'll not really talk much on it because i don't really know enough about it but um yeah i didn't know that at the time so it wasn't until i released the video that i knew uh there was a little bit of heat floating around there but now i do um but i still like the photos i got um nevertheless and this one again just gives me that feeling of home because tractors like this and scenes like this is not something you really see at least as far as i'm aware of in too many places around the world um an old i believe it's a massey ferguson tractor i could be wrong there but i think it is I'm um, just sitting on the beach and when me and Christina were just taking a stroll down there I just knew I had to get a photo of it and it turned out really nicely took this one on the Yashica mat and um, with Cinecell 400D like I said and yeah just turned out really nice something a bit different just gives me that countryside feeling of home even though it's on a beach but still yeah I like this one the next photo or couple of photos that i really like were from autumn time so we're, we're kind of going in the right order here um and it's these photos there's actually there's two variations of shots here I, i'm not quite sure which one i like more i think probably the second one but, but we'll go with this one first it's actually this backlit photo of this autumn tree and um, it's not particularly orange we were maybe like a few days early um to get the real nice autumn colors but i still really like this photo and backlit scenes as i think i mentioned in that video are not something i'm always drawn to um but when i have been i've really liked the outcome so it's kind of stuck in my head now when i when i have backlit scenes like that at sunrise or sunset to make sure that i take the photos or try and find a subject that is backlit by the sun um because the results can be pretty epic um i managed to get the birds in this one as well they are small but they are there and i just really like this scene i just i love trees and i love getting minimal photos of trees and it can be quite difficult at times but i really like how this one turned out and the other one is of another tree kind of in the same area as well again backlit and again i also managed to get some birds in it and i took this photo previously maybe a year or two before that um at a different time of day and the, the leaves were a different color and stuff so it'd be cool to have a little set of photos of this scene well that's my plan anyway maybe get one in the snow and then maybe get one where there's no leaves at all but um yeah again backlit and i just love how this one turned out and the feel that autumn sort of sunrise feeling that you get looking at it and the next one i've decided to include is actually i actually included it in that same video um i didn't really want to do this but I just really like this photo and I really like the other one so I just have to include them because they are my favorite photos from the year. This one is just from this old house which sits right on this little crossroads and there's a little red stop sign and I just love being able to find scenes like this and come back to them when the lighting's nice like it was here. I'm not sure if this is 
perfect conditions, but I really like how it turned out. Um, and framing scenes like this, um, I think I've mentioned on the channel before that photographers that really inspire me are like James Popsis, Kyle McDougall, or two whose style I really like. And between them, they, they almost take all of the type of photos that I like to take as well. And I just love the way they find scenes like this, but then also compose them, use the different elements to try and balance things out. Um, so I'm more aware of that now when I'm taking these type of photos. Like for example, just the placement of everything. The electric post on the left kind of has its own space and then the electric wire hanging from it is just missing the building at the in the distance there, which I was aware of. I wanted to make sure that the tree or plant here on the right hand side wasn't really overlapping the chimney of the house. And obviously I wanted you to be able to see the um, stop sign. And then the little white pillar in front of the house is overlapping the darker stone, which just makes it stand out a little better. And just to me, this is a nicely composed scene, if I do say so myself. Um, these are the type of photos that I really love and I want to find more of. And um, that countryside feeling, but also there's a bit more work to be done to compose things properly and, and get things feeling even. And yeah, I just really love how this photo turned out. You know what? I actually think these might have ended up being in chronological order. There might be one or two there that aren't, but <laughs> we're moving on to a special trip. This was our trip to Porto in November. If any of you've if any of you have seen the video, um, then you'll know why. I'll drop the link up here if you want to check it out. And I'll just leave it. Well, no, I won't because I'm going to tell you in a minute. But I was, <laughs> I was going to say I'll leave it as a, as a surprise. But anyway, this photo um, from the bridge in Porto. And any of you who have been to Porto will know. Looks very similar to the uh, Eiffel Tower. I believe it was designed by the same person. Same architect or engineer or whatever. Um, but this was the morning um, that we took a stroll down, the first morning we went out and took photos and I managed to get this photo on the bridge and the lighting was almost perfect. We weren't sure if we were going to get any sun at all because it was kind of rainy season in Porto in um, November time. But uh, the light was pretty perfect for brief periods on and off between the clouds and I got this photo and I think it kind of includes everything I, I would have wanted. The bridge is in it which is sort of one of the main attractions of Porto. We've got the old buildings in the background. We've also got a nice lamp on the bridge, um, which is always nice. Something I always look for in photos when I'm traveling in European countries and stuff. And just really like how this one turned out. And obviously then I have the memory of this trip where me and Christina got engaged. So it's a nice one to look back on. I think this is definitely one that I'll print. I got uh, sort of a few variations of it and then I got a landscape version of it too. But I think I'll print one of them um, just for a memory and it's also a nice photo I think. If you still want to go and check the video out to see the whole proposal thing and all, it'll be top corner here, I'm not sure which corner but it'll be up there. Just for the sake of showing you another few photos in this video, I do also really like this one of Port in Porto, I was debating sharing it, not maybe typically my style of photo but I really like how it, how it turned out, black and white and they just weighed it for the boat and the uh, sail just to perfectly center underneath the bridge. Something a little bit different. And then also the other one here, kind of of the landscape and the bridges in the background. It's a really cool city and it's definitely a place that we'll go back to in the future, I think, to check out. Probably during the summertime. But yeah, that is my list of photos. I actually thought there was another one there, but uh, Porto was in November, so I didn't really take that many photos in December with the weather. Um, so that is my list of photos or my favorite photos from 2023 and um, looking back now like I said I actually got quite a few that I like um, I feel like if I can get a few throughout the year that I'm happy enough to print and put on my wall it's been a decent year and I think for the amount of photos I took this year I got quite a few keepers um, a few portfolio shots and stuff so I'm not happy with how many trips and how many photos I took but I'm happy with how many nice photos I got out of that which is why it's good to look back on your photos because you might end up getting a lot more that you really like than you maybe thought. I think my takeaway when it comes to photography for 2023 is to capture memories. Like I said, it's something I've realized this year along with trying to just improve my photography in general. Um, but capturing the memories is something that just stood out to me more. It's pretty much since my cousin actually got the same little camera as I got. Well, I actually copied him to be honest. <laughs> 
with the little Ektor uh, H35 camera, but um, he got one and it just was fun to use. I took a few photos with it and I was like, I, I really think I need to get one of these. And ever since I got that first one, which if you've seen the last video, you'll know I lost. Um, it was just really fun, hence why I got another one. And I used it over Christmas and stuff there to take to take photos like I said I was going to. And it makes me want to use it, it makes me want to capture memories and um, I probably won't share most of them here on the channel, but that's kind of the whole point, to capture things that aren't just sort of to create art. So yeah, that would be my takeaway from uh, the last year of photography. Capture more memories. This has probably been on a little bit longer than I expected. It's a good job I didn't get any more good photos because probably would have on for quite a bit longer. Um, the last kind of boasting, assuming I would have got a lot more nice shots, but who knows? Um, but hopefully you enjoyed this one anyway. I would love to hear which photo out of those ones I picked um, you liked the best, or if you maybe had another one that you've seen me take that you think should have been on the list, let me know, because that would be even more interesting, I think. But um, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Um, Happy New Year to you all. Hope it's a good one. Um, hopefully we have a lot more trips and a lot more photos this year to share with you, and videos, obviously. Um, we'll try our best. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. So as we always say, take it easy. Don't be a stranger. Also, don't be afraid to give the video a thumbs up. It's much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, um, maybe hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. See you.